Our next speaker is Dr. Rafiq Gubran. Dr. Gubran is currently Vice President at Carleton University. Prior to this, he served as Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and Design at Carleton for almost a decade. Dr. Gubran's research interests include digital signal processing and its applications in biomedical engineering and audio processing. He has held a number of review panel appointments and board positions. He's a member of several organizations, including the Global Engineering Dean's Council. Dr. Gubran, you now have the floor. Okay, good morning. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the Indo-Canadian Community Center for giving me the opportunity to honor Professor Jab Umar on this momentous occasion. On behalf of Carleton University, I wish to offer Jag my sincere congratulations. His dedication, collaboration, and leadership within academia and society at large exemplify the core values to which we at Carleton all aspire, research excellence, inspirational teaching and learning, and maintaining a strong sense of community and purpose. In pursuit of these goals, Professor Kumar emerges as a role model whose achievements stand above the rest, the very embodiment of the qualities expected of a member of the Order of Canada. With a career spanning close to 50 years at Carleton, Professor Kumar has influenced the lives of generations of students, many of whom have gone to occupy key roles in the public, private, and academic sectors. Beloved by his students for his engaged teaching, Professor Humar, as chair of the Department of Civil Engineering, had the leadership to establish an independent bachelor, master's, and PhD in environmental engineering when few other Canadian universities were off not offering those degrees. Thanks to his vision, these once fled programs are now viewed as some of the strongest and most respected in the country. As you may know, Professor Homar is a world-renowned expert in structural dynamics and earthquake engineering. His eminent stature in this area has led to many prestigious advisory roles across the country. For example, he served for over 15 years as a member uh, and as chair of the Canadian Research Council Standing Committee on Earthquake Engineering, has made expert recommendation to the seismic upgrade of the parliament buildings and additionally, he contributed to the development of national building codes for earthquake resistant design and helped shape the Canadian landscape in special consultant for the well-known civil engineering projects such as Sky Dome in Toronto and the National Aviation Museum in Ottawa. Professor Humar has received prestigious awards such as the A.D. Dunton Award of Distinction for Outstanding Career Achievements and Contributions and the A.B. Sanderson Award from the Canadian Society for Civil Engineering for Outstanding Contributions to Structural Engineering. We are proud of Professor Humar's impactful teaching and research contributions, as we are also very proud of how he affected positive changes among, uh, our, uh, beyond our camp campus as well. In these roles, Professor Humar's goals was to foster respect and tolerance for different perspective and faith. As a founding member of a program to support the education and empowerment of women from marginalized communities, Professor Humar has improved the lives of children and women in India. He has helped provide scholarships for deserving students to attend secondary school and has financed the construction of a school building in India to provide free and subsidized education for primary children. In conclusion, to my colleague and friend, Professor Umar, please accept my most sincere congratulations on this well-deserved appointment as a member of the Order of Canada, which recognizes your remarkable career as educator, researcher, mentor, philanthropist, and importantly, an engaged citizen and community leader. Thank you. Thank you, Rafiq, those kind words. And it's a pleasure to hear from you. 